Okay, and what I like to do is just take these screws and just run them down until they kiss the, um, the top of the rubber lid. And that's about as far as I need to go since they're really not holding the thing from, you know, other more than just coming out. So there you have it. Um, both sides are done. Um, nice rubberized box, very durable, very rugged. Um, as you can see on the side here, Trinity Productions. I don't know if you can see it in the light, but they will do that um, for a little bit extra for you on uh, on the boxes. But um, there's our first one, and now we've got this other end here that we're going to deal with and put a double-ended box on that. So it's going to be the same steps. It'll be prepping the cable end with these guys and stripping the individual conductors with these guys and we're just going to daisy chain down um, all the way to the rest of the cable all the way down to the end. Uh, one of the nice things is that extra screw. So every little packet gets one extra screw. This is really appreciated and really nice because sometimes we lose these things. So thank you Kim. So um, anyway, um, that's the dead end. This is the dead end. I'm not the dead end. And um, what we're uh, going to do is um, continue on and build this and show you each box as we get it going. And we'll come back uh, for the next box, show you how that comes together. And uh, we'll also show you how to put the um, 15 amp uh, receptacle, not the receptacle, the plug, the 15 amp plug on the end of it. So anyway, um, sit tight and we'll be right back. So now we've got our cable ends prepped, the connectors are on the back end of these things ready for the boxes. So now we're going to deal with the double end box. Still takes two plugs, but a um, little bit different situation that uh, we have to deal with on the, um, on the double ended box. So what we're going to first do is take our one end, bring it into the box, shove it in, and pull it out the top like so. And then our other cable, same kind of cable, stripped back again. Sorry. Ready to go. And we're going to shove that one in, but bring it out the other end of the box so that it kind of looks like that. We're going to do is attach a receptacle in to each of the ends of the cable, and then we're going to join them and then put them all back into the uh, into the box again and shove everything in. Since there's um, twice as much wire, no, maybe another 50% as much wire um, in the double box. A uh, little bit tighter to get in, but uh, still certainly doable without. Um, over, you know, forcing anything and, and making it too tight. So, same steps again as we did on the single-ended box. Um, we're going to go ahead and strip these ends and get the plugs on each end, and then we'll come back and show you what that looks like, and um, and then start assembling this together. And then we're going to repeat that um, a couple more times as we get this whole stage trainer prepared. So, stay tuned. So now. We've got our box prepped. Uh, we've got the wires um, stripped on the ends just like we did the other one. And what we're going to do, since we've got wires coming in and out of all these um, receptacles, we're going to go ahead and run all these screws out. In both receptacles. got innies and outies. On all of them now. So now we're prepped, ready to go. And again, we're going to do our neutral first. And it goes all the way. Tighten down. We're going to go ahead and do our hot leg. And that 
that's good. Now we're going to go ahead, since we've already got all of the, well, we're going to have to wait because we're going to have to shove the other one back in on the um, on the ground side to do that. So what we're going to do is get our other neutral in to be able to shove through to the other box, to the other side. Flip it over and we've already got our little jumper here for our hot or our low side. So some people like to wait to strip these. Um, I just go ahead and do it all at once. That's just me. So what I'm gonna do is now take this one and pull it back. Shove in the ground and get this pulled back in here a little bit. Just make sure that the insulation of the black lines up right with the edge of the box. And I'm going to go ahead and put on my connector, shove about an eighth of an inch back in again, and tighten that down really, really good so it doesn't have a chance to come off and then I'm going to go ahead and now run this receptacle and secure it go about halfway on that halfway on that one now one of the things you can do too is that these little things that are on here to ground out to a electrical box, um, we can take those off because um, sometimes they don't allow the um, plugs to fit real well. So I probably should have done that on the other one as well. But um, we'll do that on the next one and see if the cover doesn't fit a little bit better. So that one's on. We're going to go ahead and flip this over, get our other plug onto these cable ends and then we can pull these through and make some connections and um, show you how the ground connects through made a mistake. Got to back up. And sometimes I just get ahead of myself. But we forgot to put on this guy. Ground. In. in fact, what I'm going to do is while I've got this open, we'll go ahead and take this off. And our cover should fit on a little bit better as well. Run that in. Now we got everything coming out here where it's supposed to. So we got the grounds coming out. And what I'm going to do is go ahead and get these ground wires um, all together and we'll get the wire nut on this guy and get these out of the way so that they're not flopping around getting tied up with everything else. What I try to do is get all of the ends on these things so that they're about the same length and just kind of twist them around so that I can get the, the wire nut that is on this um, started on. And if you can, to try to, as you're getting things going, push all the wires up into the connector and then just really Twist that puppy down and it starts twisting the wires, but that's got a real tight, firm connection on it. And then this will be our lead that goes on the other side. So on our other receptacle, probably 
these pressed back up again. We're going to go ahead and on the gold side here, we're going to go ahead and get our load or hot wires terminated. Just make sure that when we go in we don't fray anything. jacket. And there we go, nice and tight. And then the last one we're going to bring under is the ground screw. And nice and tight. Now what we'll do is we'll go ahead and pull out all that extra cable, leaving about an eighth of an inch in, and go ahead and screw on our connector. take this screw out so that we can remove this little guy. We'll take a look at the alignment. The ground prong is going towards this direction on the box, so we'll do that with the other one. We're going to take that wire nut and just shove him down in there. We're going to wrap the ground kind of around the outside of the box. Line up our one screw, put this guy back in. Line up our other one. About halfway there. Halfway there. Finish running that guy in. Finish running that guy in. And nice and tight on both sides. And there you have it. You have done a double duplex in a pass through box. Um, same principle as we did with this dead ender and now I'm going to go ahead and put on the face plate uh, on each side here and go ahead and we're going to move on to the next box and to the next one and we'll be right back. Stay tuned. So here we are, last screw in this double ended, double duplex box. There we have it, all nice and tight and together, ready for years and years of operation. So we got uh, two more to go, and we're going to go ahead and get those together and then show you how to put on the, uh, the male Edison plug uh, on the final end of the stage stringer, and uh, stay tuned. Well, here we are, um, just buttoning up the, the last double-ended box, double duplex, um, on our cable run, and going to get in the um, the last of the uh, the cover plates on, and then the last thing that we're going to do will be to terminate this, and we'll open up this um, connector, and uh, this is just a. Uh, 15 amp, 125 volt, um, typical Edison connector. It has the same color coding. It has the silver for the neutral, gold for the hot, and then the ground prong. If you notice that the, um, the ground prong is longer, um, that is 
typical of the Edison plug so that it goes in and grounds first before any of the other conductors um, happen to hit and energize. So anyway, um, hang on and uh, we're going to go ahead and get this last box of these face plates on and buttoned up and then we'll be back on to show you the uh, termination of this Edison end and um, then show you the, uh, the entire uh, stringer completed. Okay, we got the last screw here going in and shove that little rubber guy down and we are done with all one, two, three, four boxes. So now the last thing we're going to do is take a look at showing you how to terminate this guy here, this little um, Edison plug. So what we're going to do is completely take this guy apart. Take the screws out. Kind of show you the pieces to it. And uh, take the front off. And exposes the guts. And those guts are going to go on this raw end of the cable right here. So what we're going to do first is um, pass over the, um, the connector on the outside. One of the things that these connectors have in them is a um, mechanism um, inside here so that if you happen to use smaller cord that you can twist this thing and uh, make it so that it'll clamp down on a smaller diameter of cable. Um, with the size of cable that we are using um, with this SO cord, um, I normally pop these things out and uh, don't use them um, because it is such a thick jacketed cable um, on the end of this um, Edison plug. And then the other side has these little ridges in it, um, as you can see here, that will clamp down on the rest of the diameter of the cable and provide a strain relief for it as well. So I'm going to go ahead and get this popped out, and we'll be right back. Okay, so we got that popped out. Took a little bit of time there to do it. But um, got it on the cord, and now what we're going to do is strip this back just a little bit. Again, just enough to score it. Get some things out of the way here so you can see. expose all the conductors and then what we'll do is we'll cut the uh, paper spacing out. And again on this connector we've got green, we've got silver for the neutral, and then we've got the gold for the, uh, the low to the hot. And they typically run these screws all the way tight so we back them out. Um, I back them out with a screwdriver just because one time with the drill I backed it out and ran it all the way and ended up destroying the connector and had to get another one. So you want to make sure that you don't strip these things back too far because the flare as these spread out into the connector is not that much so it really doesn't need that much um, wire. Um, sometimes it is a bit tricky to get everything in. Go ahead and strip each of these back, just like we did with the receptacles. Give them a little twist to neaten them up here, and then we'll do our ground first. We will tighten them down with the drill. Next, and the 
just goes right into the hole and you just want to make sure that as it goes in it doesn't fray and it goes down and seats all the way down inside. And there we have it. So the next thing we're going to do then is slide the shell back on and if you rotate the connector around you can see that there's an indentation here and then there's also a tab here on the connector and that just slides up and that gives you the orientation of the connector so that the screws and everything go back in correctly. goes on like so. These you have to be careful on. Um, they are very coarse threads and they just twist and come down and you don't want to put too much pressure on those. And there we have it. Um, you can see that through the hole where that other connector was that it has been removed and now you can see the jacket. But this jacket is big enough that um, we shouldn't have any trouble running this thing down and cinching it um, onto the um, onto the jacket to provide the proper strain relief because it is pretty beefy. We'll just go ahead and run. It. together and with what we've done now it has secured the cable in there but the surfaces have come together um, on the plug and there you can see that the insulation is fully captured um, inside if you're uncomfortable with that run it fill it full of caulking or something but um, what we found is if we do keep this in um, we can't get, uh, with the, some of the larger SO cable, we can't get the, um, the connector down um, on the back end to crimp it all the way and um, can't get the screws on it. So anyway, there you have it. Um, we have now put together our entire cable here. All the boxes, we've got the dead end box, we've got this. Boxes everywhere, and on the end of the cable, we've got our Edison right here, ready to plug in. So that is it. Um, as always, with anything, consult your local codes and ordinances, and uh, check with your city electrical departments and things if uh, you have any questions or you're uncomfortable. Feel free to email us if you want. Um, certainly get a hold of Ken at OA Windsor. Um, thank you very much, Ken, for supplying the boxes for this video. And uh, if, whether you want to purchase the boxes or have Ken assemble them for you, or if you want, we can assemble them for you. It doesn't make any difference and send them to you. Um, any length, any type of configuration, go on to Ken's website. We'll put that here at the end of the video. Uh, along with our website address. But if you have any questions uh, on any of the pro sound needs, speakers, amplifiers, microphones, whatever it may be, drop us a line or check out some of our other YouTube videos. And uh, feel free to email us if you want. We are dealers for a lot of uh, major lines for sound equipment. And uh, we represent uh, QSC, DB Technologies, RCF, just to name a few. 
So uh, we run a uh, DB Technologies line array for our events and uh, we are very, very happy with it. They produce a fantastic speaker using all uh, RCF drivers. So anyway, there you have it, uh, the assembly of the um, OA Windsor stage stringer and uh, happy concerts. Thank you again for watching the video and again brought to you by Trinity Productions. Thanks.